Hi, this is Madi Mahovald and Manos Brilakis, and this is case 183 for the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case of uh, using the recross dual lumen microcatheter for undergrade reentry. The patient was a gentleman with previous coronary bypass graft surgery with uh, a Lima to LAD and a saphenous vein graft to a left PDA that had an uh, unsuccessful attempt for PCI of a circumflex and was referred for a second attempt. This was the initial presentation with non ST elevation myocardial infarction. Three months prior, there was a CTO of the circumflex. He did uh, have an attempt to recanalize the lesion, but uh, the attempt was unsuccessful. The right coronary artery was occluded, as was a saphenous vein graft to the left PTA. And uh, this was the initial attempt. The wire was in the extra plaque location and reentry could not be achieved. He was therefore referred for a second attempt uh, for PCI of the circumflex CTO. He does have a well-defined uh, proximal cap. The length is not very long. And then uh, there are some collaterals that are epicardial that don't seem to be suitable for the retrograde approach. Therefore, the plan here was undergrade wiring and then do undergrade dissection reentry in case of extra plaque wire entry. This is an injection through the tip of a Corsair excess microcatheter to define the proximal cap. A filter XTA wire was used and it actually advanced, but it was in the extra plug space as was the case during the previous attempt. We had a very hard time advancing equipment through the occlusion. This was uh, very difficult to cross. The Corsair excess could not cross. We used a, a Sapphire Pro, which is the most common first step for balloon uncrossable or microcatheter uncrossable lesions. But despite that, we were still unable to cross with a, a microcatheter. We tried eventually the side branch anchor technique. This is a 2.5 balloon into the uh, Ramos branch. And then uh, after doing that, we were actually able to um, advance a recross dual lumen microcatheter past that area of occlusion. And that was very helpful because in this case, it was very unlikely to be able to deliver a stingray balloon that has a higher crossing profile, whereas the recross was able to cross through this balloon uncrossable lesion. This is the illustration of the recross. It is the only dual lumen microcatheter that has two over the wire lumen. And as a result, it can be used with one lumen to aspirate and the other lumen to achieve reentry in case of uh, extra plug wire entry, as was the case in our patient. It does have um, uh, the one over the wire lumen has uh, an exit port at the tip, but also on the side. And the second one has a stylet for better deliverability, which was very useful in our case, and then exits uh, a little more proximal from the tip of the microcatheter. We were able, using the recross, to actually re-enter into the distal true lumen. We then switched uh, for workhorse guide wires in both branches distally, and then uh, proceeded with uh, balloon angioplasty and uh, stenting all the way to the proximal circumflex. We did do an optical coherence tomography showing a dissection, and that is why we placed an additional drag eluting stand. And that provided a nice final result with a good flow into this dominant less circumflex vessel. Several lessons from this case. Uh, the first one is uh, that uh, when there is extra plaque uh, entry, then re-entry is uh, one way to go. The other option would have been retrograde crossing, but this patient did not have a good retrograde option with only epicardial collaterals, which is actually something fairly common for circumflex CTOs. The second one is how to approach balloon and crossable lesions. In this case, we did use a Sapphire 1.0 millimeter balloon, but despite that, we were unable to deliver equipment through the occlusion. But then we used a side branch anchor by using a balloon into this uh, Ramos branch, and we were then able to cross. The third potential lesson is that for the entry, 
One additional option to the Stingray is to use the Recross dual lumen microcatheter. The advantage of the Recross compared to the Stingray is that it is more deliverable, but the disadvantage is that orientation may not be as well established as the Stingray that has the balloon that helps with orientation of the catheter with one surface facing the true lumen and the other surface facing the adventitia. But uh, nevertheless, in this case, we were able to use the recross to go through this uh, balloon and crossable lesion and then successfully re-enter into the distal true lumen. Thank you.